Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got a super quick Logic Pro tip here for you today. So if you've ever gotten a situation where you've comped a bunch of parts and you wanna save the take folder for later, just in case the artist comes back and says, you know what, at bar 25, there was a, a different spot there I want you to comp in. And if you've already flattened and merged your take folders, this can be problematic because you'll have to go back to a backup, find that uh, take, and then punch it into your new project. Well, there's a really easy way to store a backup of your take folders without having to duplicate the track using track alternatives. So here what I have is left and right rhythm guitars in track stacks. So these are two different microphones, but the same part. However, I wanna store a copy of all four of these take folders before I flatten and merge. So what I'm gonna do is go up to track, then select show track alternatives. And what you'll see is this extra little option here on each of the tracks. So right now it says A, so A is the track alternative we're viewing. What I can do at this point is I can select all of these. I'm gonna hit Command C to copy, set the playhead right where they come in, and then I'm gonna switch this over to new. And so that's gonna create a new track alternative. I'm gonna do the same thing here, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. You can do it with multiple selected regions as well. And if you prefer to duplicate everything on that track over to a new track alternative, you can use the duplicate option as well. And then I'll just go ahead and paste in those take folders. So those are my take folders. I can go back to track alternative A, go back to track alternative A, and then I can flatten and merge these. And then I'll do the same thing for the bottom two take folders. If you don't know, the shortcut to flatten and merge is option U. Okay, so all of my take folders are now flattened and merged, so I can go ahead and just edit these normally. But if I ever need to get those other take folders back, I can just go over to track alternative B, and there they are. And I can pull new takes out and then jump back over to my main take, uh, my main edited take on track alternative A. So that's how you can use track alternatives for storing your take folders. This makes comping your edits way easier, especially if you have a ton of edits and a ton of take folders and a ton of takes to work with. You can get this material back without having to go back to a backup or duplicate the track or worry about hiding tracks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.